Okay, so this is going to be a really simple project that I'm doing. If you have a Yezu 817 QRP radio, this is the cable that they give you from the factory for hooking up external batteries. And the external batteries I'm going to be using are like this. And they have a male spade terminal on them. So what I have to do is I'm going to put the female variety of the spade terminal on this cable. Now I personally don't like hooking power up direct. So what I'm going to do is to uh, insert this nice little fuse holder in line somewhere right about like that so that uh, I've got a fuse in line between my radio and the battery. Some people don't do that and that's that's fine for them. Okay so the first thing uh, I'm going to do is strip this back a little bit. Now on these connectors the inside uh, is the wire that has the little white dashes on it. So the ground or the negative is the one with nothing on it. So first thing I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to put a spade terminal on the negative side. So I'm going to get me a little heat shrink here. Slide this baby up on there. <clears throat> and if you noticed, when I slid this up in here, <laughs> to get down here where you can crimp on the wire, way too long. This is way too long. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bend this thing half. You could just cut it off. Still fits up in there just fine. Okay, and I'm going to crimp that just like this first find my crimpers. Crimper, crimper, where do the crimpers? Let's put a little, let's put a little crimp in their lifestyle here. So we got a little bit of a crimp there. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to solder this in place. And I don't want to burn my little pinkies. So I'm going to hold this. <clears throat> I like using a little bit of It'll drop a little, little, whoa, I got a leak there. A little drop of liquid flux. It might have been a little too much. And I'll clean my iron. A little solder bridge on the tip there. And let's see if we can get this uh, hot enough to melt some solder down in there. I think that's done it. Okay. Let's 
clean off some of that flux. That'll cool it down, help cool it down too. Alright, so that's nice and clean. Let's run this black heat shrink up over there. Beautiful. Alright, so now what we need to do is figure out where to put this little guy. So I want a little extra out here to cut off and play with. Because I when I get done to get this in done, I want to try to have these as even as possible. So what I'll do Let's strip this guy back here. I'm going to cut that guy right about here. cable off here and I'm going to go a little more and about the same amount over here So far, so good. Okay, I'm going to do two pieces of heat shrink. I'm going to go over the whole thing. Maybe I should have put that on there first. Okay. That ain't going to happen. All right, so we'll just put this on here. Twist that up, twist this one up, and I'm going to wrap these two guys together, and wrap this one over that one, and this one over that one, like so. You don't have one of these little tools like this. This is a very handy thing to have. As you can see. All right, let's see if I can put some. Maybe put a little flux on there without drowning it. That ought to be plenty. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, that's a nice connection. Let me just heat shrink that little dude. Very 
pretty good. So hopefully if I did this right, I've got some extra out here, which I do. I'm going to cut that off. Right there, strip back a little. crimp action and I probably don't have to crimp it since I'm soldering it but hey why not right well, that didn't even hold there we go all right Okay, so that's good. Now, let's see. Yeah, I better clean that one off, cool it down a little bit. Let's see if we work. this will work. I may redo that one. I think I've got a little solder in there keeping that from expanding. <clears throat> I was a little sloppy with that, but that is fixable with a little, a little bit of solder weight maybe. transfer here. Oh, turn it off. This one is not working very well. We may have to do some little flux on this one. That's what we needed. So what I did originally, I don't even know if I can explain it. You probably saw what I did. I said this side and this side are two pieces so they can expand a little bit and I had a solder bridge between them. There 
we go. Nice tight fit. Alright, so this project is done. I'm ready to go hook this battery up to my 817 and get on the air.